This video will show you how to install the Novak TAC emulator and calibrate it. This module converts the tachometer output signal from a GMV8 engine computer to your Jeep's engine computer. This allows you to use your stock gauges with your V8 conversion. First, determine the mounting location, take into consideration that the emulator needs to connect to the Jeep and GM PCM. The emulator is water resistant and can be mounted in the engine bay or inside the cab for better protection from the elements. The emulator has five wires that should be soldered for long-lasting reliable operation. Strip the wires back enough to fray the ends and twist them together. Make sure to saturate the copper and not just strip it onto the wire. Finish it up with some appropriately sized heat shrink. Connect the red wire to a source that has 12 volts with the key in the run and start positions. Connect the black wire to ground. Connect the white wire to the GMPCM TAC output signal. If you purchased a Novak wiring harness, this is already in your harness as a white wire label TAC. Otherwise, we have included a white wire with the PCM terminal pre-crimped. For 99 to 2007 Gen 3 conversions, this wire goes to pin 10 on the red or green connector. For 2008 to 2014 Gen 4 conversions, this is pin 48 on the black connector. The green and orange wires are your emulated crank and cam position sensor signals. Connect these to the existing crank and cam sensor wires coming from the Jeep PCM. Start the Jeep and watch as your TAC needle comes back to life. This concludes the installation of your Novak TAC emulator. The rest of the guide will cover common troubleshooting steps. If the Jeep TAC needle does not match the GM engine's RPM, then the emulator will need to be adjusted. Use an OBD2 scan tool on the GM OBD2 port to check the engine's actual RPM versus the Jeep's gauge reading. It is easier to check accuracy at 2000 RPM than at idle. Remove the lid from the emulator via the four Phillips screws. Inside the emulator, there are five pairs of headers and two jumpers. Move the outside jumper from the run position to the setup position. With the engine running, turn the small brass screw in the direction you want the tack needle to move. Once finished, return the jumper to the run position and put the cover back on your emulator. If your tack needle does not react to your engine RPM, check the emulator's status LED. The red LED indicates the unit is powered. The green LED will flash when the emulator is receiving and sending signals. If the red LED does not illuminate, check for 12 volts across the red and black wires. If the green LED does not flash, then the module is not receiving the correct input from the GM PCM. If both lights are functioning correctly, verify green and orange wires are in the correct location. Next, check to see if the other gauges are working. If none of the gauges are working, or you get a message on the dash saying, no bus, then the Jeep PCM is not communicating with the instrument cluster. Check all the power and ground wires of the PCM and instrument cluster using your vehicle's factory service manual wiring diagram and connector pinouts. Also check that the circuits labeled PCI or CCD bus are still in place.